today I'm going to try felting fur and hair. Some assembly required. So I have definitely been too intimidated to try felting like furry, hairy creatures. I just sometimes leave them a little fuzzy, but we're confronting our fears now. <laughs> the other the other video when I did the smoothing and blending, you know, I got that out of the way. And now it's time for fur. I guess it shouldn't be too bad. It just, I'm worried that it's gonna take so forever that I'm gonna get tired of it and I won't finish. And then, I don't know. So <laughs> let's try it. Let's figure it out once and for all and see if it is worth our time. I think that it will be because I've seen so many cute things with like furry, hairy adorableness and I want to be able to do that. So I guess I'll figure it out. I decided that you guys probably wouldn't mind if I made my core shapes off camera. I'm not sure that me making spheres and stuff uh, makes for good viewing. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Uh, I made a big round shape for his head, a smaller, kind of flatter round shape for his body, and some arm cylinders and flattish foot shapes. I think I'm going to start with the head, give it some skin and features and all that, and then add the body and do all that furry stuff at the end. I'm going to put it off as long as I can. <laughs> so here we go. I think these nice soft merino colors will work well for fur, so I'll try to match the rest of the monster to what I have. Maybe some tealish color for his body. Ah, finally, we're starting. So I'm just wrapping the head shape with teal and felting it all down to get a nice base. Not bad. It's a little fuzzy, but that's okay. Next, some big bulging eyeballs. And let me just go ahead and stab them a million times until they're firm. Ta-da! Yeah, nice eyes, buddy. Now I'll make his mouth. He's gonna be like, oh! <laughs> I'm gonna add some more fiber on his nose and chin just to like adjust his face so it's not perfectly round. Give him a little more pizzazz. Now I'm going to make some flat bits for eyelids, but first I'd better give him pupils. Then I can layer the eyelids on top. Oh, hi! And a little shine for his eyes. Now I can add his eyelids. They're kind of like big circles under his eyes. He looks a little tired. I'm also giving him a skinny little eyelid on top just to kind of anchor his eyes a little bit so they don't pop all the way out of his head. And I think he needs some teeth. All right, okay. I guess his head is all right for now, so I'll move on to his body. I'll just wrap some skin around these guys for a good base. And then I can put them all together. Ta-da! Now, how about some fingers and toes? Okay, it's a little bit plain, but it's ready to attach to his head at least. Right, buddy? Whoa, you need a neck, huh? I'll add some extra fiber like at the seams to help smooth the head to body transition. And I'm adding a greener fiber to his tummy for a little bit of shading, but it blends in a little bit too well in the video, so you can't see it at all. And I am checking every once in a while to see if he's balanced enough to stand. Hmm. Now I think he needs... Horns. I'll make a basic rounded cone shape. And 
and stick them on. Oh, <laughs> hi there, buddy. Looking good. Uh, I guess I can't put it off anymore, huh? Time for hair. There are probably other ways to add hair, but here's how I'll do it. It seems the most straightforward to me. Pull off a section of roving. It could probably be thicker than this, but you have to start somewhere. Put it where you want fur, and then felt in a line right across the middle. Slick it back, kinda, and felt across the roots in the front. And then push it forward and do the same in the back. Now for the next piece, I am just lining up the middle right in front of the last section that I did and felting it down. I can't really reach the back on this one, obviously, because I shoved it right against the other section, so I'll just do the extra felting in the front. Oh, he already looks so cute! And then you just keep going wherever he needs hair. Along his cheeks, I think it would look better, more blended, so I'll just felt skinny little layers across the edge until it looks a little more natural. to use the darker blue in the back I should make a section with like blended colors first if you don't have blending combs or dog combs I think work pretty well you can just layer the colors in your hands and then pull them apart gently over and over and over and over until it looks pretty blended now this is not perfect but it'll blend it enough for this Then, you felt it on just like before. Now that I have some transition space, I'll switch to just the darker blue. Ha! Look at all that hair! I love it too much to cut it. I'll have to make somebody else to test how it looks like when it's cut. Unfortunately, now that he has this magnificent mane, he won't stand up. Ah, uh, I guess I'll add a tail for support. Another cone shape. And on it goes. It works! He stands! He's looking a little bit plain, I think. So I'll add some details. Purple, I think, will be great. Toenails! And maybe some freckles. Oh, very nice. I think he's ready. And he's fun to fluff and pet. Now let me try out a quick haircut, just to see. I'll start with this guy. And give him some hair. Wow, maybe a lot of hair. <laughs> now let's trim. The comb kind of helps to fluff it out a little bit more so that you can see what's not even and what still needs to be cut. He looks like a furry pink raindrop. Hi, buddy! That was fun. Um, it was not fast, but I think that it's worth it. I maybe you wouldn't want to do this for absolutely everything that you make unless you want to spend days and days on everything that you make. I mean, that's cool. That's fine. I mean, this guy didn't take all that long because he's not that complicated. <laughs> this guy took a little bit longer, but he's awesome. 
so. But it's fun. I think it's cool. And I mean, this is awesome. This is great. I'll just, I'll just be right here uh, petting him forever. So that's really all there is to it. It's not like a quick process, but it works out. I may have made their fur a little bit thicker than it needed to. I probably could have put a little bit more space in between my little sections, but I wasn't 100% sure how close to put it. So that could be something to experiment with, you know, in case you don't want to use all the roving that you have. Now, I really do like the way that he has uh, way too much hair. If I get tired of it, maybe I can give him a trim. This might be excessive, but I don't know. I like him excessive, at least for now. <laughs> but it really wasn't too hard to cut. I mean, I'm not great at giving haircuts, which I have recently learned, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. So uh, this is easier to cut than regular hair because it's smaller. I hope that you like this video because I absolutely love these guys and I think that they need a bunch of friends with crazy hair. Maybe not right now. <laughs> that might not be next. So if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think that I should felt next or is there a part of felting that you think is just kind of creepy, a little bit scary, kind of intimidating, you're a little scared to try it? And maybe I should try it if I haven't yet and figure it out for you. I don't mind, I'll do that. If you like this kind of video and you are not subscribed yet, you can do that right underneath the video. Make sure you click the all notifications button so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so stay tuned. Until the next video, I will probably mostly be petting these guys and coming up with exciting new felting things to try. So be awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye!